In this video, I'm gonna show you how to download a Google Sheet as a PDF. We're gonna have a ton of options. I'm gonna to try to walk you through them. The simplest way to download a Google Sheet as a PDF is you have access, edit access, or view access to a Google Sheet. You open the sheet and you go up to File, Download, and we're gonna select PDF here. And here we wanna download the entire sheet. We can choose the paper size on the right side. Over on the right side, we have a ton of options that we can choose. We can choose to only choose selected cells or the current sheet. We can choose any kind kind of paper size we want. We can also choose a custom size if we want to change the paper size to a very specific PDF size. Page orientation will be landscape or portrait. Landscape is wide and portrait is tall. Here you can see the difference between landscape and portrait. Scale, we have the ability to just print it as normal, but we also have the ability to squeeze it into just the size of the width or the height or fit the entire sheet into one page. Also, there is a custom number here where we can choose a percentage to show. In many cases, I like to choose fit to width. Margins, this is the space on the side of the spreadsheet between the edge of the page and the spreadsheet data. Normal, narrow, or wide. Wide is bigger margins. And we also have a custom numbers here that we can choose. And it'll present this UI that you can change the top, left, and bottom. I almost always just keep it as normal. We can also set custom page breaks. If you have lots of data, this comes in handy. In the formatting section, we can show grid lines if we check this box. In order to hide grid lines, we have to uncheck this box. Notes, if there are any notes you've added to any cells, we can show those or we can hide them by just unchecking the box. Page order, you can choose either down, then over, or over, then then down. Alignment, we can align either center, left, or right. Vertical alignment, we can also choose either between top, bottom, or center. In headers and footers, we can show the page numbers if there are multiple pages. It's going to be in the bottom right corner. It's very tiny here. You can see it. We can also uncheck it to hide the page numbers. Book title is the title of the entire spreadsheet. In our case, it's called how to download a Google Sheet as a PDF. You can also hide that if you uncheck this. The individual tab names or sheet names can be shown in the top right. The current date can be shown. It'll be on the bottom left. And the current time can be added to this as well. You also can edit these content areas. You just have to click and add text here. We can change the number to actually show the page number and literally the word page or PG. We can choose workbook title or sheet name in any of these. We can also format the date here any way you want and format the time in different ways. In order to show row and column headers, we need to actually freeze at least one row. And now let's go back to file, download as PDF. And if we scroll down to headers and footers, we now can repeat frozen rows. If we freeze a column, we can go back, download PDF. And on the bottom in headers and footers, we can now choose to repeat frozen columns or not. Clicking the checkbox means you are going to repeat the frozen rows across every page. To uncheck, it means that you will not repeat the frozen rows. But those aren't available. You have no frozen rows. Once you've selected all of the options you wish to use and you want to actually get the PDF, click the top right button that says export and it'll download a PDF. It'll be in your downloads if you're on a Mac or wherever your downloads go on your computer. This is what it looks like when you open it as a PDF. So there you go. That's how to download a Google Sheet as a PDF.